Hello everyone, this is Brayden and we are World Building with Legend Keeper. This is a series meant to introduce you to world building for RPGs and stories with the Legend Keeper beta. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the Creating Your First Project video linked in the description below. If you're a game master using Legend Keeper for a campaign, you probably want to invite your players to explore all of the lore you've created. To invite someone to your project, Open the menu in the bottom left of the screen and navigate to the Users section. From there, press the Invite button and type the email of the person you'd like to invite. Once you've invited them, you can make them either a member or an admin. Admins can edit pretty much everything, while members can only view by default and have to be permitted to edit. Also, only admins can see hidden things, but we'll get to that in a second. Your Atlas and Wiki might have a ton of secret things that you don't want your players to know yet. Legend Keeper has a number of tools to assist with this. You can use the Hide option to hide pins or articles. Hidden pins and articles cannot be viewed by members, only admins. Hide a pin to conceal the location of a precious treasure or hidden dungeon. Hide an article to make sure that only admins can read it or any of its subarticles. Keep in mind that an article and an article's corresponding map pin are hidden separately. This is useful when players know the location of something, but not anything about it, or vice versa. If you don't want to hide an entire article, but just want to keep something in line a secret, you can use a secret block. To use a secret block, type forward slash to open the quick menu. Select secret from the menu and press enter. Anything you put into this secret block cannot be viewed by users with view only access. Keep in mind, if you grant a player edit rights to this article, the secrets will be revealed to them. Admins can also see all secrets no matter what. You can also hide the individual tabs of an article. This is great for creating a player-facing tab and a GM Notes tab. Even if a player is given permission to edit this article, they still won't be able to see this hidden tab. These are a few ways that Legend Keeper gives you granular control over what your players see. If you need even more control, such as assigning edit rights to members of your project, check out the Advanced Permissions video available on this channel. If you haven't started using Legend Keeper, you can join the beta by visiting legendkeeper.com and supporting us on Patreon. Finally, I want to thank all of our Patreon supporters, past and present, for making this project possible. Thank you for watching.